Hi, everyone. I'm Lisa Baralat. I'm one of the GYN oncologists at the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center here in Madison. And I wish I could be seeing you all in person right now, but this is a great alternative and I'm so pleased with the innovation that has made this possible. I've been asked to answer the question, is immunotherapy being used in ovarian cancer? And is it effective? First of all, what is immunotherapy? <laughs> Certainly it's a word that's created a lot of buzz in cancer patients, physicians, and researchers. The basic concept of immunotherapy is using one's own immune system to attack cancer. It makes sense that this should work because cancer should be considered an unwelcome interloper that the body recognizes as foreign, just like it would bacteria or a virus. However, convincing the immune system to attack cancer cells is harder than it looks. There are a few approaches that are currently being studied. One is checkpoint blockade or checkpoint inhibition. T cells are an important part of our immune system. However, cancer is very smart at hiding from detection and evading T cells. What checkpoint inhibitors do is uncloak or reveal cancer cells as the enemies that they are, allowing the T cells to attack and destroy them more effectively. Pembrolizumab, or Keytruda, is an example of this approach and has been FDA approved for cancers with certain molecular features. We'll talk more about that later. Another way that T cells can be manipulated to better fight cancer is adoptive T cell therapy. Sometimes you'll hear this called ACT or ACT. This is being studied in preclinical models at many institutions, including my own. An ongoing project at the University of Wisconsin involves isolating T cells from the patient's cancer. So you use a biopsy or patient societies or fluid from their belly um, as the breeding ground for T cells. So the tumor specific T cells are isolated from that ascites or from the tumor biopsy and expanded outside of the patient's body in a laboratory like mine. They can then be reinjected at a later time as part of the patient's cancer therapy. We're currently studying this in a mouse model, so it's not ready for humans yet, but I hope if it's successful, a human trial will be ready to go by 2021. The third way that the immune system can be used to fight cancer is through vaccines. Cancer vaccines may activate tumor-specific T cell response through antigen-presenting cells. Those are little flags that cancer cells hold up that help them be recognized by our immune system. This approach might be particularly exciting in preventing cancer recurrence, a topic of interest to many watching this video. There are several clinical trials examining cancer vaccines, but none have been FDA approved for ovarian cancer yet. As an ovarian cancer patient, the best way to have access to immunotherapy at this time is through a clinical trial. Talking to your provider about trial options is a fantastic first step. The National Cancer Institute, or NCI, also has an excellent website that, you can, that can help you find a clinical trial that might be a good fit for you. Many current immunotherapy trials are examining checkpoint inhibitors in combination with other targeted therapies, like PARP inhibitors or VEGF inhibitors, like Bevacizumab or Avastin. The only FDA-approved immunotherapy for ovarian cancer right now is one of the checkpoint inhibitors, pembrolizumab, which I mentioned earlier. Pembrolizumab is actually approved for any type of cancer that demonstrates certain molecular features, in this case, microsatellite instability. We could have a very long discussion as to what that means, but the short version is that sequencing your tumor, meaning more, more about the genes and proteins that your specific cancer expresses, will help your physician know if you might be a candidate. This is done routinely at most institutions, so if you were looking for a new or novel treatment, tumor sequencing might be a good next step. I hope I've answered your question. We don't yet know if immunotherapy is going to turn into the next big thing in ovarian cancer treatment, but we are very committed to finding out. Thanks for the great question. I hope to see you all in person next year. Have a great day.